Multiline, or paragraph text, consists of one or more lines of text or paragraphs that fit within a boundary that you specify. All of the lines of text are treated as a single object, regardless of the number of individual paragraphs or lines of text that it contains. The tools for creating multi-line text appear on both the Home and Annotate ribbons. On the Home ribbon, in the Annotation panel, expand the Text Split button and choose Multi-line Text. Or, on the Annotate ribbon, in the Text panel, choose the Multi-line Text tool. When you create multi-line text, you first determine the boundary of the multi-line text by specifying the opposite corners of a rectangle. The program prompts you to specify the first corner. Click to select one corner. The program then prompts you to select the opposite corner. But before you do, you can also choose any of the other options. For example, you could set the height, justification, line spacing, rotation, style, and width, or even create multiple columns of text. In most cases, it is easier to simply pick the opposite corner. You can always change these options later, after you have created the multi-line text. When you click to select the opposite corner, what you are essentially doing is defining a rectangular space that determines the left and right margins of the text. Once you pick the opposite corner, the program is ready for you to start typing the text. The ribbon changes to the Text Editor contextual ribbon, which contains numerous options for adjusting the style, formatting, and paragraph settings. There are also tools for controlling text columns, inserting symbols and fields, checking spelling, and so on. The controls on the Text Editor ribbon should look familiar to anyone who has ever used a word processor. For example, in the Style panel, you can select the text style and set the text height. In the Formatting panel, you can make the text bold or italic, create underlined text, and change the text color. And in the Paragraph panel, you can change the text justification, create numbered or bulleted lists, adjust the line spacing, and so on. In the drawing area, you see the M Text Editor. A ruler extends across the top of the editor. On the Text Editor contextual ribbon, in the Style panel, click in the Text Height field, type 1, and press Enter to change the text height to one unit. Then, start typing. This is a paragraph of multi-line text. As you type, the program automatically performs word wrap. In other words, when the text reaches the right margin, you do not have to press Enter. The program automatically wraps the text onto the next line. In fact, you should not press Enter unless you actually want to start a new paragraph. If you do not like where the lines break, you can click and drag the right end of the ruler to change the right margin. If you click and drag the lower right corner of the M Text Editor, you can automatically change the text into multiple columns. You can then click and drag the right edge of the first column to adjust the width of the columns, and click and drag the right edge of the right column to adjust the spacing of the columns. If you drag the lower right corner of the first column, you can switch back to a single text column. You can also make changes to individual letters or words, just like in a word processor. For example, suppose you want to italicize the word multiline. Simply use the cursor to select that word. Then, in the formatting panel, click the italic button. With the word still selected, to make it bold, 
click the bold button. You can even change the color of the selected text. In the formatting panel, expand the color dropdown and choose red. When creating multi-line text, you can automatically create numbered or bulleted lists. For example, move the cursor to the end of the sentence, press enter, and then type one period space red. A special icon appears and the program automatically treats what you typed as a numbered list. You can click this icon to control the auto bullets and numbering. Press Escape or just click in the drawing to close this menu. Press Enter to start a new line. The program is ready for you to enter the second item in the list. You can also easily create subscript and superscript text. For example, type H2O, then select the number 2. In the ribbon, in the formatting panel, click the subscript button. When you are finished entering text and everything looks the way you want, you must close the multi-line text editor. To do this, on the ribbon, click the Close Text Editor button. Note that you can also press the Escape key to exit from the editor, but if you use this method, the program displays an alert dialog asking if you want to save your text changes. Move the cursor over the text. All of the text you created highlights, and the panel tells you that it is an M text object. All of the text you created is a single multi line text object, even if it includes multiple paragraphs. Click to select the M text object. With the multi line text selected, you see several blue grips that indicate the insertion point and bounding area of the text. You can drag the square grip to move the text. When you drag the triangular grip on the right, you change the width of the multi-line text, which causes the text to reflow. And when you drag the triangular grip at the bottom and move it up, you force the text to flow into a second column. You can then use additional grips to change the spacing between columns and even force the text to flow into additional columns.